Welcome back to Grand Adventure. I'm your host, Mark Guido, and we are still here in southwestern Colorado camping at Manco State Park. We're going to be moving on today to Bears Ears National Monument in southeastern Utah. However, on the way, we're going to visit Canyons of the Ancients and Hoven Weep National Monuments to check out some ancient Anasazi culture. So stay tuned. Campsites in Manco State Park, a few miles north of Mancos, Colorado, near Mesa Verde National Park, as well as Canyons of the Ancients National Monument, are dry camping for $18 per night, with both potable water and a dump station included right in the campground. If you'd like to learn more about camping in Manco State Park, check out our last episode number 99 on the Durango and Silverton Narrow Gauge Railroad. We'll put a handy link to that episode right here on your screen if you'd like to go back and check it out. The Anasazi Heritage Center north of Cortez, Colorado is also the visitor center for the Canyons of the Ancients National Monument and includes artifacts from the monument, a museum with interactive exhibits, a library, and a theater. Canyons of the Ancients National Monument encompasses over 176,000 acres in the far southwestern corner of Colorado, managed by the Bureau of Land Management, or BLM. Established in June of 2000, the monument was proclaimed in order to preserve the largest concentration of archeological sites in the United States. The monument has been used or inhabited by humans, including the Northern Ancestral Puebloan culture, or Anasazi, for 10,000 years. The Anasazi lived in the canyons of the ancients beginning in the 10th century. Pottery became more versatile, including pitchers, ladles, bowls, jars, and tableware for food and drink. White pottery with black designs emerged, the pigments coming from plants. Water management and conservation techniques including the use of reservoirs and silt-retaining dams, also emerged during this period. As refinements and construction techniques increased, the Puebloans built larger pueblos, or villages, on top of the pit houses starting early in the 11th century. Lowry Pueblo, built during the Great Pueblo period, was built atop a pit house built in the 10th century. The site nine miles west of the hamlet of Pleasant View, Colorado, was first excavated in 1931 and went through a restoration process in 1965. Two years later, Lowry Pueblo was named a National Historic Landmark and was listed on the National Register of Historic Places. Lowry Pueblo had just a few rooms and two kivas in the year 1090, and the village was expanded two times about 1103 and 1120, until it had 40 rooms, eight kivas, and one great kiva. The Lowry Pueblo dwellers were farmers and hunters. They grew beans, corn, and squash, and raised turkeys. They also made and decorated pottery. It is believed that Lowry Pueblo was inhabited until the middle of the 12th century. Some of the artifacts found throughout Canyons of the Ancients show a connection to the Chacoan culture while others are similar to those of the nearby Mesa Verde dwellers. The Great Kiva at Lowry Pueblo is considered one of the northernmost great houses connected to Chaco Canyon in the region. Based upon the size of the Kiva, it's thought that the Lowry Pueblo may have been a local center for religious gatherings and celebration. The Sand Canyon Trail, accessed via two trailheads along County Road G, Following the McElmo Creek beneath Sleeping Ute Mountain is open for hiking, mountain biking, or horseback riding.
several small ruins, including the Saddlehorn Pueblo seen here, are located roughly a mile in from the trailhead. However, to find the largest collection of ruins, continue on until you're about three miles from your car. After taking in the vistas at Ute's viewpoint, the trail descends a shallow canyon, with many ruins embedded in the cliff face on the opposite north side. I've got to say that's a hike that we can heartily recommend. It's about three miles each way to get to the best of the ruins. So about six miles round trip, but not with really a lot of elevation gain. Not a lot of shade out there. It's mostly junipers and pinyon pines, but uh, some beautiful ruins and not a heavily traveled trail. Highly recommend it. We still had more to show you in this part of the Four Corners area. Our rig, however, had other ideas. A broken leaf spring on the trailer's passenger side rear wheel has left us dead in the water. We're thankful that we're in the middle of nowhere on a remote county road with little traffic passing by in either direction. At least the views from here are stupendous. So we really hope you've enjoyed this 100th episode of Grand Adventure. Our intention was to also bring you in a Hovenweep National Monument for more Anasazi ruins. However, our little breakdown on the side of the road uh, kept us from doing that. A big shout out to Tom Gentry, the RV mobile repair guy who came out and fixed our broken leaf spring. Uh, Tom was incredibly personable, very prompt, and eminently fair in his rate. So thank you very much, Tom. We'd recommend you to anybody. We're going to put a link, or excuse me, a, a Tom's phone number down in the video description below this video in case you ever need RV mobile repair services in the Four Corners area. Um, if you're not yet a Grand Adventurer, now's the time. Hit that subscribe button because we're down in Bears Ears National Monument right now. That's where we were heading when we had our breakdown. And that'll be our next episode 101 of Grand Adventure. Ring that notification bell so you get instant notification of each new episode of Grand Adventure that airs here on YouTube. If We air new outdoor adventure videos each and every Wednesday. So we'd be honored if you shared Grand Adventure with your friends and family. And don't forget, if you like this video, it's very important to us. Give us a thumbs up down below. And we also love to hear from you down below in the comment section below each video. Until next week, please remember life is nothing but a Grand Adventure. We'll see you next week. <laughs>